It all looks pretty nondescript from a distance. But inside, an Olympic effort that was a little loud for the neighbors. They had a call center next door, and apparently I was disrupting their phone calls. That's when Harrison Morris's office moved closer to the loading dock. In an un air conditioned warehouse gym. Yeah, we got fans. It's fine. You got to put some work in. Are you really working if you're not sweating? Like <laughs> the work towards Tokyo happened two times a day for hours each training session. We got a good group of people here. Three A's to the teams. Come on. Team USA weightlifters waited five years working through a pandemic postponement. It was rough at first. I mean, just that we were so close and then we weren't all of a sudden training out of their garages for a little while. Harrison is used to making adjustments. It's what got him into weightlifting in the first place. Yeah, so I was a gymnast from 7 to 11. I was always a strong gymnast. I was not a pretty gymnast. Wasn't flexible, couldn't point my toes. I lost state, actually, by a tenth of a point, a toe point uh, one time. So transitioned well to weightlifting, yeah. You don't have to be uh, particularly flexible. You have to be mobile, not flexible to weightlift. So. And you don't have to point your toes. No, thank the Lord. <laughs> the kid who always loved being active has found his thing and is now among the best in the world. They're not going to be the usual Olympics, but that's okay. It's every athlete's dream to be able to represent their country at uh, the highest level. Um, it's just a huge honor. I don't know. It's kind of hard to put into words. Yeah. <laughs>